Welcome to London's famous Brick Lane Market. Located in the heart of East London, Brick Lane has plenty to offer. Whether you're looking for clothing, electrical products or antiques, Brick Lane has something for everyone. Or if you're like me, maybe you're here for some of that delicious looking food. With that being said, this is my Brick Lane food guide. My name's Gerald and this is Travelling Hungry. On this food tour, I'm going to be taking you to the 10 places I visited when at Brick Lane. I'm going to be covering all the major markets in London. Check out my previous video of Camden. If you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. But for now, let's get to the food. First up, Arapas and Cachapas. These guys specialize in South American cuisine. You can choose grilled chicken, slow cooked shredded beef or pulled pork. I went with the slow cooked shredded beef. This dish is served with an arapas, rice, vegetables, black bean and plantain, giving you that delicious home cooked food feeling. delicious slow cooked beef. Uh, we got some plantain, some beans, some rice, some salad. Okay, let's uh, let's give this beef a try with the rice. See what it's like. Wow! Wow! That beef is delicious. This is some good slow cooked beef. That's been cooked for hours and hours, maybe even a day. That is so tender, so delicious. Wow, it all works really well together. The rice, you get the spice from the sauce on there. Wow, that's really nice beef. And it's got a nice, a nice kick to it. It's not too spicy, but that cake is very much appreciated. Wow, this feels like a really nice, delicious, home cooked meal. You have to try this when you come in. This beef is so delicious. Next up is Jack's Bakery. If you're looking for a sweet treat, look no further. It would be impossible to walk past this place without grabbing something. Whether you're looking for fudge, brownies or cookies, these guys have got you covered. If I didn't have 10 places to eat today, I would have got 10 items from here alone. Alright, let's have a... Let's have a bite of this uh, Oreo fudge. Awesome, delicious, beautiful. <laughs> wow. That's very silky. That's very smooth, it's light. That Oreo taste is, is great, it just comes through immediately. That's a delicious white chocolate fudge. That fudge, that is delicious. That is a, that's a bloody good fudge. Next is Thai Kitchen. These guys specialize in, you guessed it, Thai food. But more importantly, some delicious Thai curries. We were able to mix two curries together. So for the first curry, we went with a beef mesaman curry. And the second curry was chili and basil chicken. Both served on a bed of rice. Okay, right, our next dish. We've got ourselves a nice curry, which is traditional if you're in Brick Lane, you've got to grab yourself a curry, right? Um, so basically, I've got a beef Massaman curry. 
and a chicken and chili uh, kind of curry, chicken and chili curry, maybe, I think so. Okay, let's try this uh, beef masterman first. Wow. Wow, you get so many herbs and spices the first bite. There's some of that potato. Mm. Wow, I'm amazed by that. That beef, it's got so much flavor to it. Immediately, the first thing you get is coconut. You get the coconut milk from, from the curry. The beef is nice and tender. It's slow cooked beef, you can tell. The coriander's coming through. Spring onions. I topped it with some peanuts, I can taste that as well. Potatoes are nice. Very, very nice. Let's um, try the... It was a chicken chili curry, I believe. It looked very nice. It's like minced chicken. Um, you, it's got chilies over it. Let's give that a try. Immediately, you start to taste that garlic. Wow, that garlic is strong, but it's delicious. So it's like a garlic chicken, minced chicken, the rice, it's delicious, the spices, they all come through. It's a really, really, these are two really good curries. You have to get a curry when you're in Brick Lane and definitely recommend coming here. Up next, we have Mr. Sausage. These guys serve up a delicious hot dog in a crispy baguette. Topped with some delicious cheese, you can also add some gherkins and crispy onions. Let's, uh, let's, let's tuck in. <laughs> wow. The first thing you get is that crunchy bread. I bet it's so fresh. And then comes through the pierce de resistance. Almost like a German sausage, it may very well be. You get the cheese. The onions are delicious. Really delicious hot dog. Brick Lane consists of five markets. To get the best out of it, I'd advise coming here on Sunday when everything is fully opened. The Vintage Market opens seven days a week and specializes in clothing. The Backyard Market is open Saturday and Sunday. Inside, you'll find a whole host of clothes, jewelry, arts, and other stores selling beautiful items. The Boiler Room opens Saturday and Sunday. Inside, you'll find unique clothing stores, what makes the boiler room very unique is that all the food stores in here specialize in vegan and vegetarian food. The tea room market is open Saturday and Sunday. Inside you'll find accessories beautiful tea sets and other household goods and lots of places selling unique art. Last but not least is the up market. In here you'll find all sorts of food from all over the world. These guys are also open Saturday and Sunday. Another part of the market to mention is actually on Brick Lane itself. Along this road you'll find even more delicious food and shops selling clothes and souvenirs. Our next stop takes us to Piglin Street. These guys serve slow roasted piglin stuffed with rosemary and garlic. 
this is served in a bap or you can have just the meat on its own with some healthy vegetables. You can also add a duck egg. Okay, so next we've got some roast crispy pork and a duck egg. Loads of healthy looking vegetables, which I probably won't eat, but uh, they look nice. Wow. That pork is so crispy. It's so tender. It is delicious. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. You can tell that it's been cooked for quite a long time. The duck egg actually goes beautiful with it. Just to be healthy. This is definitely a must next time you're done. Next up, it's time to grab a samosa. Okay, so uh, we decided to get some uh, samosas and I went with the lamb samosa and uh, I'm gonna delve in and see how this bad boy tastes. I'm getting a lamb, get onions, a lot of onions in there. You get a peas, there's a hint of spice. They are very deep filled. The filling is very nice. Pastry, pastry is not bad, it's a bit thicker than what I would want from a samosa, but it still works well together because there's a lot of filling in there. But yeah, overall, not a bad samosa. And I guess uh, if you're in Brick Lane, you've got to grab a samosa, right? This next place we grab two items. The first item, a croquette. And the second item is a pistachio cannoli. Okay, so this next item is a uh, parsley potato croquette. Um, it's got uh, garlic, cream, and something else inside? Parsley. Parsley, that's the one. Uh, let's, uh, let's give it a try, it smells good. Wow, yeah, you get a potato straight away. It is very, very crispy. It's nice. A bit oily, but it's nice. It goes well with the potato. I'm getting that parsley as well now. Nice. A nice little quick bite. Okay, so this next place we've gone for a sweet treat and we've got a pistachio cannoli. Um, let's uh, give it a try and see what it's saying. Ah. That pistachio is strong straight away. You get it? It's got like a nice caramel honey texture to it. No, it's very nice. You get a lot of chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate in this as well. It is literally a sweet treat. This is very sweet, but it is very nice. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Our next stop in Brick Lane takes us to Saint Sugar of London. These guys specialize in savory pastries and delicious baked goods. So this next place we've gone for a pastry and we've gone for an egg, bacon, cheese, sausage pastry. It's, uh, it looks pretty good, that delicious. And uh, I'm still hungry so uh, let's, let's delve in and see what it tastes like. Immediately you get the, the bacon. I'm starting to get the egg. The sausage is starting to join the trip. That pastry is nice and flaky. The cheese is strong. 
but delicious at the same time. Overall, this is a beautiful pastry. Wow. You can get to Brick Lane Market using the overground train to Shoreditch High Street. And from there, it's about a six minute walk. Alternatively, you can use the London Underground to Olgate East. And from there, it's about a 10 minute walk. When you're down at Brick Lane Market, I highly recommend trying one of the bagels. We couldn't get one unfortunately, the queues were just too long and we had far too much filming to do. But take it from me, they're delicious. Last but not least, Belly and Bao. These guys serve up some slow cooked pork belly, which you can either have in a box or as I've gone for today, in a bao. Next place we went to grab a bao and uh, we've gone for a roast pork bao. It's got radish, cucumber, coriander. Let's uh, have a taste of it and see. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna be a bit of a savage here and go for the whole bite. So. That pork is so delicious. It's like a honey roast kind of pork. You can get the radish, the cucumber, the coriander. And the bao is actually really nice and soft and fluffy. That is really, really good. Wow, that is so nice. And they give you a lot of pork as well. I love coriander, and that coriander goes fantastically with this pork. Absolute must when you come down here. Absolute. If you enjoyed that video guys, don't forget to like. If you want to see more content along the same lines, don't forget to subscribe. All that usual bloody blah stuff. If you're interested in this video, don't forget to check out my previous video of Camden. There'll be another video dropping soon as well. More markets and lots of food and me stuffing my face and just the old usual stuff that I get up to on my trips of food heaven deliciousness. I'll see you next time. I'm traveling hungry. Goodbye.